I know, I just can't help it. But you're right, I got this. Okay, bye. Miss Manor, we're ready. Miss Hello, Ellie, please come and take a seat. Relax, take your time, tell me where it all began. We had just moved into the house. Um, it was a beautiful home. I fell in love with it almost immediately. There were a few areas that needed work, but what house doesn't, you know? Um, Tom was so excited to start working on those home projects. Your husband? Yes. Um, we had just been married recently, and uh, this was supposed to be our forever home. Tom and I were expecting our first, and at first, everything felt normal, but then I started having these dreams and I hardly ever have night terrors, but something just felt different. What happened in these dreams? I was painting the nursery and um, all of a sudden I saw a woman out of the corner of my eye. She was dressed in Victorian clothing and it was bloodstained. Um, she didn't say anything, but she had this look, this look that I still can't shake. I remember jolting up in bed, sweating. My heart was racing so fast I thought it was going to burst. Tom said it was the storm that had startled me awake, but I, I had trouble falling asleep after that. I did, eventually, though. That morning, I woke up to the sound of children's laughter. I sat up in bed, and I saw two children running past my bedroom door. I was confused. The only thing down that hall is a door that leads to the basement. I got out of bed, and I followed them down the hallway, but all I found was an empty house and a note from Tom saying that he'd be back later. Pregnancy is a wild thing. It could be that your mind just wants to have the baby already and wants to see the house be active. No, that's not what it was. I saw them. I chased them down the hall. They were there. Ellie, I'm sorry. Here, please take a seat. Please tell me the rest of your story. Please. The only thing at the end of that hallway is a door that leads to the basement. So I grabbed a flashlight from one of the boxes and I went down. I didn't know what to expect. The family in the house before us had some furniture and some boxes left behind and nothing seemed to be out of the ordinary until... It's okay. Tell me what happened next. I saw what appeared to be an old photograph on the floor, so I went to pick it up, and my face went pale. What was in the photograph? It was a, a family photo, um, parents and two kids. But the kids were the same ones that had ran past my door, and the woman was the same one from my dream. The photo was dated 1893. It's okay. Please, please. Take your time. I felt a sudden burst of coldness come over me, and I began to feel uneasy. I heard a creaking sound, and um, I looked up, and there was a man hanging from the ceiling. I ran out of there as fast as I could. By the time I got to the top, um, I heard Tom pulling into the driveway and I, I ran to him. Tom! Tom! There's someone what? in the basement! There's, there's someone in the house! Are, are you okay? Look, look, look. Stay, stay here. I will see. Tom, Hold on. we have to go! I was 
nearly hysterical. Honey, there's nothing in the basement. I, I think you need to get some rest. Look, why don't we go inside? I'll no, make you no. a cup of tea, okay? Yes, come on. Let's come on inside. I, I take it you didn't believe you. At first he didn't, but then I lost the baby. And um, I guess it took a toll on him. He started seeing the kids too. The house changed him. He started drinking and then it happened. You woke up to a gunshot coming from the basement. 